Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Brenda, or also known as Cozyaholic. And for today's video, we are back with more Christmas decorating. And we are finally decorating the formal living room, which I just love the way it turned out. Super classic, just Christmas vibes, very, very organic, a lot of natural elements that I used in this area. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like these. We still have the entryway to decorate, which is right behind you guys. And for this year, I actually decided that I wanted to go all out and we are adding garlands all the way up my stairway. If you've seen it before in my home tour, it's a huge, very regal stairway that just goes all the way up. It's super exposed, you can see everything gonna look gorgeous you guys so I really hope that you guys stick around to see that part of the video it's gonna be coming out very very soon but anyways I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get started alrighty so for this side of the living room we have a very big 10 foot window so I thought a nine foot tree would be perfect for this area I purchased this tree at Home Depot for I believe $299 so I will link that down below for you guys if you are interested in purchasing this one as well but I went ahead and took everything out of the box and started assembling the tree in this little area right here just like right in the center that way I could fluff either side without having the wall in the way I went ahead and started fluffing the tree up and I plugged it in of course to make sure that the lights worked and then I put the topper first because I honestly didn't want to go up there anymore and if I try to tilt it afterwards I would hate for the ornaments to fall off so I went ahead and added that first. And moving on to decorating the tree, I have a ton of ornaments that I've collected. These right here I picked up from Walmart. And if you are interested in any of these items, then I will go ahead and link my Christmas decor haul videos down below in the description box for you guys because that's where I linked most of this stuff. But if there is something that isn't linked, you can go ahead and comment down below and I will definitely let you know where I got it from. But I went ahead and just started placing the ornaments all over the tree, trying to fill it as much as I could, but also trying to keep it very minimal. And then these ornaments I absolutely love. It has like a very beautiful faux cement look, but I went ahead and flipped the little snowflake facing inward because I didn't really like that. And I could definitely rip them off, but I decided not to. I just flipped it over so you couldn't see the little snowflake. So now moving on to my mantle, this section is probably my absolute favorite. I just love the feel of this area. It's so cozy. It just really makes the room come together. So I went ahead and pulled out this beautiful garland that I picked up at Hobby Lobby last year. And I will link this one down below for you guys. This one did have pine cones on it actually. You can see there's one still there. And then on this corner over here, I just added my four stockings and I hung them on these stocking holders that I picked up at Walmart. And if you did watch my last Decorate With Me video, you did hear that I mentioned that I just, I've been loving this stacked stocking look. It just really elevates it. It looks absolutely beautiful. I honestly love it a lot more than having them spread out across the mantle. I just think this looks so perfect and I've been loving it.
And then for some final touches, I picked up these beautiful berry picks and they're just like these really cute beaded ones. I really love them and it's just like that very, very small touch of glam. Not too much, but it just really elevated the look and just made it look so perfect. Moving on to the garland that I wanted to hang up this year. I love this bell garland that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. So stinking cute. I just think it's so dainty and so pretty. And I have two of those. So I went ahead and hung one all the way across. And then the other one I did halfway. And it took me a little bit to kind of figure out how I wanted to set it up. So you'll see me here kind of messing around with the garland going up and down all over the place. And then finally I found the perfect look for it. I think it just like... It was giving me a little bit of OCD, but I, I was able to figure out exactly where I wanted it to be placed. And then for my coffee table, I just went ahead and wiped it down. And as you can tell on the corners, I have these little protectors. It looks super ugly, but I do have a toddler and a two month old baby. So I need to make sure that it is safe for them because he does roam around this area often or not even often, but like just if he ever is over here, I'd hate for him to ever hurt himself with this concrete table. So that's the reason why I have those on there. But anyways, I went ahead and wiped it down, make sure that all the dust was gone. And then I went ahead and added this glass vase, which is one of my favorites. And I thrifted this one actually for like $7, but I will link a very similar one for you guys down below in the description box. And then of course, a lot of people were asking in my last video if I was going to add any red. And I did. I was just waiting for this video to come out. And I really love these berry picks. It just really added just like the perfect amount of red. Not too much, not too little. And it just really, it's still like a very organic, natural feel to it. But of course, we had to add red because Christmas is all about the reds and the greens and all that good stuff. So I went ahead and added that. And then right next to that, I added two of my most favorite home decor books and of course all that will be linked down below for you as well but i kind of same thing just messed around with the coffee table try to figure out the placement of everything and eventually i found something that worked for me and yeah that's pretty much what i was doing here And then for my sofa, I just finished fluffing everything up. I've actually really been loving the sofa right here that we just got. I love the bench cushion. It's so much better than like the two cushion one. It's just like, it doesn't dig into you. It's just like so perfect. You can lay on this and it's so comfortable. Um, and I just think it really makes the sofa look a lot more expensive than it is. And then for the pillows, I just added these beautiful green velvet pillows from Ikea and then these brown pillows are from at home and then I also added a leather pillow right in the center. And then for the blanket, of course, it is a throw blanket so you just throw it on there and it looks perfect. And now moving on to our little console table that's behind the sofa. This one also I actually um, got secondhand, so I don't have a link for this one, but it is so beautiful. It honestly looks kind of like an antique, which is like my favorite thing ever, but I went ahead and also added books there, and then I had this magazine that I got in the mail, and it's Thanksgiving themed, so I thought that would be perfect to put on there. And then right next to it, I added a mango wood bowl with some pear trees and like i mentioned in my haul video i think this one is so perfect because if you guys know the 12 days of christmas song it says a partridge in a pear tree 
and I just thought that that symbolized that and it was just so perfect I love the idea and it looks so stinking cute and it really tied in with the gold that's in the tree and on the mantle so everything just kind of tied in very very well and then for this dough bowl I just added a ton of greenery added that to the bottom and just called it a day I really hope that one day I can get a really long dough bowl to put there but for now that's what I have to work with and then finally, I just cleaned everything up now that I am done decorating. And I did want to mention a really awesome product that got sent to me. And basically, this is a steam mop. Guys, I'm telling you, if you don't have this and you have hardwood floors or laminate or anything, I recommend you getting this. It is literally one of those things where you didn't know you needed it, but you like, it just changed your life. It made my floors look brand new it totally needed this and they just look so shiny and beautiful and it makes me so happy because it just really made the house look clean and um, I have a discount code for you guys down below so definitely go ahead and go to the description box it's only $70 so definitely go ahead and check that out and anyways, that is everything for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite part of this video is. And yeah, you guys, I hope you loved it. And I can't wait to see you to the next video. For everyone to enjoy Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I will be home for a couple of days Wonder around with you you and me in the cold thought it never be true wherever i go i got you oh i have stopped running there is no way trying you better loosen your belt drinking up wine by the fire don't care of anything else it's christmas and some kind of love my friend Pray it will never end. Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas.